What's up dudes and dudettes of the internet, my name is Seth and we are back again for some more Warframe. Sorry, it's been a couple days everybody. I had some huge major issues with my internet. It was just exploding. Uh, I was actually trying to play Warframe. I kept getting kicked from missions and stuff like that. It was insane. So without further ado, I'm actually on a new internet provider right now. And uh, hopefully I'm not going to run into any more issues. Now, there's quite a few things I got to update all of you on because Scythepoo's been busy. I grinded up quite a, well, not that much, but I ended up playing a couple missions with uh with all of you as much as I could on the side and this beautiful costume right here it's amazing but man alive does it make it look like we got a tiny head we're still rhino which is beautiful this is the uh what is this skin called appearance uh and it also comes with a helmet as well eh, oh, there it is the Palatine skin, uh, but before we get into all of that stuff, because it's, it's pretty cool, I like it, it <laughs> makes him look even bigger and more threatening, uh, but one thing I did want to do is because our Nakana, now this is, whoops, where is it, in the upgrade section, apparently we go to actions, right, and then, yeah, we can select a lens, uh, and then we select this one and we can install it on a level 30 Warframe, but in this case I'm going to install it uh, onto our Nakana just because I, I, I hope that this is undoable, but even if it isn't, I honestly don't really care anyways, it doesn't matter so much. Uh, but the whole point of installing it onto uh, something is apparently we'll gather experience that we can then put towards uh, our, like, Tenno character, our number five ability, and also there's a bit of a skill tree because, I, you know, a lot of you kept telling me that I should learn myself this new system, that I should get the hang of it, and I did my best to actually look online, be quiet phone, and figure all of this stuff out, however, the system in itself seems very complex to me, and uh, yeah, it means it might be a little difficult. Uh, you know, you'll have to bear with me, everybody. So we ended up choosing this school. Uh, the other ones are locked, but of course, it seems like we can unlock them if we have uh, enough affinity. I, I think that's what this currency works on. And of course, you can see we can go down different uh, skill trees and stuff like that, work on different abilities. Very, very cool system. Makes the game a little bit more intense to actually building up your character and your number five ability and just making it stronger as well as I think there's a bunch of passives and stuff like that however you can see that we actually have no affinity because now that we have that lens equipped now as we kill enemies and do missions and stuff we're gonna actually be gaining uh, the affinity and abilities for that and also I was watching some of the cutscenes uh, with audio online and yeah I'm sorry about that everybody I know we did the second dream without the uh, game audio on like the other NPCs talking, which kind of sucks because that kind of scene was pretty sick without. Uh, I also got the vacuum cleaner, that's what I keep calling him. Apparently there's a prime version of him, which GG I'll never get that. And we're actually currently making the Tonker because I finally got enough resources for it. Sorry that we don't have it for today, everybody, uh, but it's actually five hours from now so by the time this video comes out I will have it of course and a lot of you have been saying how the Tonker is actually gonna be getting a nerf which is a little bit disappointing and then besides that uh, I did look into the syndicate over here personally I really don't care about that system so we're just gonna ignore that uh, and without further ado let's go do some missions Oh, but before I forget, everybody, huge shout out to my man Max Gaming Forty Five because he's actually the one that gave me this skin, <laughs> and he sent me something else right here that I gotta double check. He actually ended up getting the uh, Voban Prime access, uh, so he has like tons of platinum, and for, he's just been throwing it away to everybody. So yeah, let's see what we ended up getting as a pro <laughs> dude. You didn't have to do that. He just gave us an Aros, dude. That is so sick. Cause he's he's another one that I, I love that Warframe. Now we'll get to play that guy. Uh, not really right away, cause I'm actually really liking Rhino. He's like so fun to play. But yeah, without further ado, now we'll get into a mission. We giant potato planet and a weird uh, ketchup ship <laughs> so we're doing like a infestation assassination supporter mission thing i don't know it's one of those ones where it's like two people versus against the world uh but hi guys i wanted to say uh just in passing that i've really been digging rhino he's actually like 
Now I fully am starting to really understand why uh, there's so many people that are always like talking about Neza not being particularly good for the late game missions and stuff like that, because we're not even maxed out. And Rhino is already handling it like a king. <laughs> like seriously, man, he just handles things so much better than Neza. I love Neza. I still love Neza, but man alive like it's like now that we're actually playing on a normal warframe i kind of expected this was gonna happen too i feel spoiled you know like i feel uber powerful because this is what normal warframes are supposed to feel like you know and his abilities i'm starting to get the hang of them and his ultimate is just beautiful it's really really nice really really amazingly wonderful and really beautiful too i love that time stomp <laughs> I guess that's what we'll call it. What? What's counting down? I hope we're not losing. Focus earned. Okay, that was something your teammate needs to open the door. Oh. I guess that was something to do with something. Why are you guys... You guys can do it. You don't need to wait for me. That's okay. Ha-ha! Also, I was looking at uh, different mods and stuff like that and what actually affects our launch. Uh, it turns out that stretch and I, well, I think it was stretch or continuity. Either way, we got to actually recycle some of, not all, of the mods that I ended up getting for the Neza build that I was working on. And uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely made us something to be reckoned with. Now, the one thing that I don't care for is that even though this skin is absolutely beautiful, where is our friend? What? Is he being attacked? E oh no, can we even save our friend in time? No! Oh well, I don't even know where he is, honestly. He might even be at the start of the level. <laughs> I, I really don't know. Uh, but yeah, so this skin, albeit beautiful, because he's so bulky, uh, it actually makes it a little bit- Stop it, phone! It makes it difficult, at least for myself, uh, to tell when we have our iron skin on. Now, granted, we are a little bit shinier right now, yes, for sure, but it's- it's a little bit tricky, you know, compared to his normal, uh, normal skin. Oh, that's a boss! It's that idiot! Death! Death buff! And ultimate! Ultimate! I guess we don't really need to use an ultimate. I can barely see anything. It's way too dark right now. Woo! Yes! I am supercharged. Where is he? Is he dead? I think he is. Ah! <laughs> Dude, so beautiful. And that attack buff that we have on Rhino apparently is one of, or at least it was based on some of the older videos that I was seeing, one of the strongest, like, team buffs in the game. So Rhino really is a beautiful... Ha! Ah! Character like he's so powerful. Uh, his ultimate is just amazing. What is this? Did we actually leave something behind? Wait a minute we can leave behind uh, affinity is that what that is I Don't know about this. I don't know. Oh I see so it's just hanging on the ground Okay, cool Yes Dude, that's why I love Rhino. So thank you all so much for your suggestion of this character. Like, seriously. And also, I know I kind of messed up. Um, you know, things were things were getting way too hectic for me trying to balance uh, just with my internet going on and stuff like that. So that's kind of why I went in the route of more uh, pay to win with some recent stuff including Rhino. And I finally ended up having some time and you guys weren't kidding. You know, Rhino is easy to grind. Like, seriously, I had no idea. So maybe this affinity for our... Uh, yeah, maybe maybe the lens affinity is just based on a time limit? I'm not sure, but either way, like, seriously, Rhino, GG on my part. I shouldn't have wasted my plat on him. Uh, and as far as the Rhino Prime, yeah, I was looking up... Uh, I forget if I mentioned this in the last episode, but a lot of you uh, were telling me to get Rhino Prime. And although Rhino Prime is beautiful, and he is beautiful, he is so swag, you can't really get him anymore. The mission that you normally got him in, or boss fight, or whatever it was, isn't actually a part of the game anymore. So you can still buy the parts from other players, but I would need somebody's help to actually do something like that. And I'm running pretty low on Platinum in general. And I, like, I've only bought Platinum once when I had the 75% off. 
I'm not going to buy platinum again. Like I, I really don't plan to. So I gotta start. I gotta start squeezing my wallet a little bit harder. Speaking of platinum, I would not be wasting my platinum on ships. Like, that was a big mistake on my part, but I had so much that I just wanted to use it. And you know what? That platinum was very useful because we got to use it. He's got a primed orthos, I think, unless it's just yellow. Rah! But uh, <laughs> we used most of the platinum, actually, uh, to prime up our Neza and stuff like that. What? Okay. Ah, now you're thinking with portals. That's scary. But mostly it was to get our club uh, or clan in order. What are you doing? You can hack it. I don't need to hack it. I'm oh, fine. I'll hack it because I'm a professional hacker. We triggered the alarm for some reason. Why would we end up doing that? <laughs> like, really, why? Hello. What is inside there, you wonder? Nothing. Nothing at all. Hey. How dare ye attack me in the... Fr I was going to say the back, but he didn't attack us in the back. He attacked us in the front. Apparently, this is a real good mission. Lots of XP from this one, so thanks, Galaxinerderberder, for uh, bringing us to this one. He said that it's a really good one for grinding up that XP. Oh, it's a survival. Okay. Aha! So we're probably not going to be able to finish this entire mission for today uh, because usually I like going to about 20 minutes for these. So we'll probably end up uh, calling it before then and I'll let you know if we end up getting anything like really, really good. Which character is that? He's beautiful. I'm not. Oh, is that Nyx? I think so. Just based on the helmet. Oh, cool. I like it. What the? Hey. How dare you create a hologram? They're all fighting each other. Ah! Yes. Oh, man. I absolutely love this. I, I love Rhino, seriously. And you know what else I love? Mine I caught a prime. I, I, I will blatantly just say I love this weapon. Like, seriously, I, I, I know I've said it before. I'll say it again. I don't think even as this character, I'm going to swap off of it. And that's one of the things that I love about this game is the fact that you can pretty much play it the way that you want. You know, rather than trying to find eh, the most optimal build. Nah, that was me adjusting my nerd glasses, you know, and all that stuff. I, I just like the Nakana Prime because it's beautiful. It's a katana, man. Like, seriously. Plus, it's like the strongest katana in the game, I think. I don't know. But I've seen people actually using Rhino uh, with bigger, heavier weapons and stuff like that, which I don't really care. Ooh. There's one of those affinity thingamabobs. Our carrier leveled up as well, which is always a good thing. You guys are taking all of my kills! It's too bad you couldn't roll into an enemy and have them die that way, you know? That would be a lot of fun. That'd be really funny. I mean, we can at least body check them, which is always a good thing. Hello? That was weird. I love this Swiffer, though. The quicker picker, picker upper because he is absolutely amazing, you know? I, I really understand what you kept uh, all telling me about get the ally that pulls all the items towards you because seriously, it makes a world of difference. Not to mention, I didn't know. That was the one thing that was actually keeping me away from grabbing this guy is I didn't know that he grabbed mana as well. So he's grabbing all that ninja, ninja shinobu jello. And because of it, like we're, we're keeping our mana no problem now. And it's great. I'm sorry. I didn't accidentally swing at you at all. I'm just saying, I'm just making a point. I absolutely love the builds that we've got going right now. Like it's kind of reinvigorated uh, my like desire ha -ha, to actually play this game. And I've actually been finding a lot of time just off camera to start playing it again. You know, and I've been having a lot of fun with all of you. So hopefully, you know, you can always add me up. Links in the, well, links. Uh, my username's in the description. Add me up. I play this game as much as I can on the side. You know, I still can't play this game like 24-7 or anything like that. But I've just been enjoying it a lot more. And I, I just want to say thanks, everybody, because I know that it's strongly because of uh, all of your influence about, like, the characters and different uh, choices of weapons and stuff like that. You know, the Nakana, that one was for me. I looked that one up online and I just wanted it because you all suggested a bunch of very beautiful weapons, but as much as I kept trying them all out, I didn't really have as much fun with all of them. But this one. No, the Bouncy Castle! Hey, no, don't shoot the Bouncy Castle, it's mine! 
But I'm loving Rhino. Like, I'm really liking him. If I could get my hands on a prime <laughs> Rhino, that would be so sick. Because honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to end up getting a primed uh, Warframe at all. Just because of the amount of difficulty and the amount of grinding that has to be uh, involved with it. So, yeah. If I could afford a primed Rhino with Platinum, I would definitely go that route and go through the trading. But I'm going to need somebody's help with that. No promises, though, everybody. I just think it would be awesome to actually have a primed character you know because unfortunately old Neze even though he's beautiful he really really is he doesn't have a primed part uh, also people have talked about and said how they don't think that a Naros is gonna have a prime part just because I think this was Max who actually said that. The same guy who gave uh, uh, gave us the Anaros today. So sick. I was so stoked about that. But he was saying that they might not actually make a primed version of him. Because as far as the lore is concerned, Anaros has like really bad ties with uh, the Void or something like that. And I think as far as the lore is concerned, primed versions are actually like voided versions of characters. So it's kind of like they got powered up in the void uh, to end up getting stronger or something. Now, I, you know, I don't know any about anything about that stuff. I've been playing this game for how long? And I, I still highly consider myself a scrubber ducky at this game. Like, I really still don't know anything about it. I'm still learning so many different parts of the mechanics. I just play this game because it's fun. <laughs> and uh, because of that, like, I, you know, personally, I don't know how picky they are with their lore. Like, is that actually something that they would end up doing? I don't know. Or would it just be, you know, would they just end up uh, making Prime Denaros anyways just because it's what the people want, you know? Like, I, I don't really know this game's community either. So that's something that, uh, yeah. Sash, you are the boss. Why am I the boss? Thank you very much, but hey, how dare Ben? <laughs> I don't know what he means. Uh, is he talking about my kills or just in general? E either way, thank you, dude, if you're watching this. Much respect. I don't even know what I just did there. It was like rock, paper, scissors or something. We, we could go to 10 minutes, right? Rhino Stomp, level one. Level one? How's it only level one? Man! <laughs> Can we do that in the midair, actually? Oh, um, maybe. I don't know. That, that's kind of neat, though. But yeah, we'll go to 10 minutes, I guess. Maybe we will have time for it today. I keep saying that we don't have time. Uh, but I do know, as far as my timer is concerned, we're on 20 minutes. But there was a bunch of loading screens and stuff like that that I'm going to have to cut out. And because of that, uh, I'm sure that we, we got enough time, right? And you, you all don't mind longer episodes, right, dudes and dudettes? <laughs> How did- what? Do you know the truth about Neza? That he's beautiful? And still one of the most amazing and fun characters in this entire game? And I wish that I could play on him, but he definitely needs a buff? Not that I'm an expert! Ah! Well, I need to come up, like... <laughs> I need to say something whenever I do that beautiful rhino charge. Although I don't know what to say. Like, what- what should we say? I guess I should say, like, Jub Jub or something? Oh, I guess that's what he's talking about. He's just talking about the fact that most people, for some weird reason, uh, misunderstand and think that Neza is a girl. Just, I guess, because of the slender type of body and stuff like that. Now, actually, as far as the lore is concerned, uh, Kale was telling me this a long time ago. I just didn't think that was very relevant, because, like I said, I don't really care about the uh, Warframe lore. Even though it's really, really cool and very interesting, I personally don't really, like, I I'm not fully into it and involved with it or anything like that. You know, I don't really care. But, uh, Nez's character from whatever lore that, uh, Warframe takes most of its characters from, uh, he was actually a young prince. And that's why, like, he's supposed to be uh, very boyish and very young and that's why uh, he kind of has like a more feminine body type and stuff like that. It's actually tied to the lore of his character, but yeah, he's a boy. He's definitely a boy. I mean, honestly, I'm shocked that people can't tell that, <laughs> you know, like, seriously, do you go outside? <laughs> but anyways, I'm not trying to be insulting everybody. I I'm just teasing. It doesn't really matter to me. I could care less. I love Neza. Boy, girl, whatever. It doesn't even matter. Like, seriously. 
And uh, I, I want to try and get, I still want to get that arrow chick. I really want to get that one. Eventually, I'm in no rush right now. The next one that I would love to, like, it, it, you know, we've got a Naros right now, so we can actually start messing with him as soon as we're uh, done with Rhino, which I don't think we're going to be done with this guy for a very long time, honestly. But if there's one character that I would just immediately start playing as, it's Rhino Prime. I really, really would. Like, if, if we ended up getting our hands on him, that would just be beautiful. Because he looks so swag, man. Like, he looks beautiful. No, he was putting down a bouncy castle! How dare you stop me? <laughs> Dude, I love Rhino. Like, seriously, he's so fun. How are you down? No! I will defend you, my friend. Where is he? Is he gone? He's bleeding out! But I'm not Neza. So I'm not fast enough to get to him. Oh no, can we do it? Nope, because I'm all turned around and I have no idea where we are. Well, at least we'll be able to grab this thing. Oh no, we're getting attacked by a skin bear! The, those creatures, like that thing right there, really reminds me of the creatures from uh, Metro 20, 20, 2016? 2014? 20, 20... I don't know. Whatever. Four Nezas for a speed run. Yeah, that would be beautiful. Um, are we leaving right now? I don't know if we're supposed to. Yeah, you know what? I guess I'll keep grinding this mission up just because apparently it's really good XP. And uh, now that I've got my new internet, hopefully it doesn't mean that I'm gonna end up getting kicked. However, this is getting very, very interesting. I have to want to call the episode, but at the same time, I don't know. You know what? Screw it. Let's have an extra long episode today. Uh, meaning that we're probably gonna only have one episode this week, everybody, for Warframe. Yeah, that'll balance out, because like I was saying at the beginning of the episode, my internet ended up uh, kind of messing things up for me, and I wasn't able to get a Warframe episode out on time. So we're gonna have just one Warframe episode this week, everybody, and we'll, we'll go an extra bit, uh, maybe to 15 minutes, maybe to 20, well, we'll go to 15 minutes, just so that we can see what other prize we're getting. We're, I don't think we're actually, ah, in this mission. Yeah! for our yeah, drops or anything like that. I think we're actually here for experience, like he was saying, uh, like Galaxer was saying at the beginning of it. Now, I, I don't know, did we actually end up leveling our character at all? I didn't really see it. I didn't see it, did we though? Yeah! <laughs> Dude, I really gotta come up with something for that. Oh, but we might have to leave this mission anyway because looks like our beautiful friend is going down hardcore. He keeps getting destroyed. I will save you. Oh, that door we can't even enter. All right. Well, that's okay. Ah! No! Mm! This guy has got problems. He's got anger problems. I like it. I like him. You can shotgun me in the face as much as you want, dude. I've got beautiful armor. Okay? My body is shiny. It is beautiful as well as effective. <laughs> Where is everybody? Where are all of you? Oh, I didn't know there was even something over here. Okay, where are you guys? What are you doing? There's a there's a lot to this level, isn't there? I'm too slow. I'm too slow, man. Where's all the bad guys? I want to fight. Yes, chop them in half. Hey, hey. How dare you? How dare you reflect my Nakana? You know? Just because it's not particularly good with armored enemies does not mean that you're allowed to deny me. <laughs> I make the weirdest noises. Like, seriously? I don't know about all of you, but I am, like, just so entertained at my own, like, craziness and noises. So I hope all of you are too. Oh, dude, like, I just get so stoked about this guy. You can be as strong as you want, but you know what? Damage boost. Whoa! Oh, is he an ally? Is that why we're not damaging him? I think that's the case. Wow! Cleaning up house! Ah! No! Blah! I am strong again. Dash of destiny! Dash of destiny and destruction! Oh, it's beautiful. Things are getting really out of hand. I like it. It's getting really exciting. Dash! Dash! Yes! I love it! Rhino can keep up so hardcore. 
And like, if we were Neza, we would be down like a million times by now, you know? Okay, those guys are just particularly strong. Yeah, they definitely are. What's happening? Where are my friends? Oh no. We have to activate one of the things. Can we? I guess we don't really need to because we only need like a little bit more time, right? Oh, geez. Well, I'm getting decent at all this wall running and stuff. Oddly enough, because of... Oh, the door closed. Oddly enough, because of Overwatch. Because of Lucio, you know? Ultimate! Yes! Isn't that amazing? It freezes time. It's so beautiful. Yes, I know. Neza is great. Keep using that Hadouken, mate. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes. The Neza power. I love it. I, I still love Neza. He's definitely my boy, but man alive, Rhino really keeps up well. He really keeps up. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, my cam probably just went off for two seconds because, unfortunately, my camera decided to just stop recording for no reason. So, I guess without further ado, like, it's probably just because the video is, like, so big. It is probably, like, a couple gigs or something like that. Uh, but yeah, if there's any time to actually leave the mission, it is now. Maybe the camera's overheating. That's another issue that does happen because of my, uh booth my sweat booth that i use for my audio but either way thanks for watching everybody i very much appreciate it and i appreciate all your support throughout this series and just for the channel in general uh, as a content creator like seriously it means so much to me and i very much appreciate it don't forget to duke in the like button share favorite and subscribe to join team pixel sign or and stay epic see you all next week Believe in yourself.